I first came in 1993, but I've been coming 10 years in a row now, since uh, 2003. Well, since last century, really. It's been a long time. I started here as a graduate student working on squid and doing electrophysiology, and it's kind of evolved through the years to now we do, uh, my wife and I come and do high-end imaging and teach in the courses, so it's been quite a long time. I've only been coming to the NBL probably since I was a postdoc, so it's not as long, nearly as long as my husband Jim has been cut. Um, and I started coming more with him because he was coming during the summers. We tried to find a way to come and bring our family. So I took the physiology course back in 2005, and I've been back every year ever since. Yeah, so this is my eighth year here. I think this is my fifth year. First time I came to the MBL was 1989 to the New England Society for Electron Microscopy meeting. Um, I was a master's student, and I saw Keith Porter give a talk on the stage of Lilly Auditorium. So I don't know how many summers. And I think I've been here at least for a couple days every single summer since then. I think this is around my seventh year. And it's, it's really an incredible honor to be here. It's something where I know lots of people that are knocking on the door and hoping to get here. And I count myself incredibly lucky. I fell in love with the MBL as a physiology student in 1998. Um, so I spent six weeks here um, and had it in my head that I really someday imagined coming back. And then serendipitously through really a chance conversation um, with Tim Mitchison at ASCB meeting, um, the opportunity arose to start collaborating and coming, collaborating with scientists at the MBL who are resident scientists. And then um, basically I had the opportunity to start coming in the summer. And um, now I'm, I'm having a hard time imagining life before I came to MBL in the summer. I took the course um, 10 years ago now and still maintain collaborations with the people that I met here because in this environment with so much science, so much excellent science going on and, and the development of, of new techniques, cutting edge techniques, you really get ideas you know, with the people that, that are here uh, who are sharing this special summertime and, and those relationships persist. And, and that really has a, a powerful impact on, on my research and the research of many others. The level of interaction is way higher than it is in the research labs. So it's nonstop, uh, fully saturating human scientific interaction. And it's like the probability of the higher the interaction level, the higher the probability that you'll get more than one inspiration. I like coming to teach because I remember for this short period each year what fun it is to do research. I get to block everything out and just think about science. I think that the courses are a great opportunity to, to basically interact with students. You basically get input from students and a lot of times you know, their ideas are, they spark new ideas with you. And it's a great opportunity to just get more feedback. I, I know how cool it is to take the course from first hand experience and it really, really I, I do strongly believe that it changed the way I do science. I came here to learn more about biology and uh, ended up falling in love with cell biology and in particular the cytoskeleton. Um, so I came to learn a little bit and I left uh, having completely changed my life. Uh, if my life was a mathematical function, uh, the two, some, two months that I spent in the physiology course in 1993 was a, uh, was a discontinuity or a singularity. Uh, that uh, left the shape of my life being completely different after the course. I've been coming down to the MBL for um, three summers as a, a co-director of a course and that's been an amazing experience. So the thing I really love about these courses is that we have um, a mixture of students, postdocs, and faculty who come from around the world and they spend three weeks here where they interact with each other and um, learn a lot from the faculty who pass through um, from a course but learn a ton from each other and we learn a ton from them too. It's not just about you know the everyday interactions all, you know with the speakers it's not, you know, about you know talking to other faculty talking to people about their research it's also the fact that you know you get to teach in an environment where people really think hard about what you're doing and they force you to think even harder so I, I, it, I guess it's also a personal belief that through teaching one also it gets to think harder about the problems that one is thinking about and try to make connections that you maybe didn't make originally. I always learn something new every year. I always learn things I never imagined that I would learn. Uh, I especially love teaching because I learn a lot from the students. I learn more from the students than from anyone else. Uh, just from hearing the research that they're doing back home and uh, interacting with them on a day-to-day -day basis that when we're trying to do experiments together, they always surprise me with their ingenuity and uh, 
I come away with uh, completely energized and with a, a totally new perspective on, on my work. I mean, I like coming here because I don't think I've ever come here and not gotten a new idea. I, you know, there's so much going on here. I bounce off 10 million people and I bounce a million ideas off of people. I don't get anything done in a um, concrete sense, but what I do get is inspiration and new ideas. And that's, I mean, that's worth more than, you know, 100 uninspired experiments for the rest of the year. The reasons I come here are partly to do my own experiments with my own hands, which once you become a um, PI of a lab group, becomes harder and harder to get out of the office and at the bench. And here I sit behind a microscope and I look at real cells growing. Um, I do experiments, which gives me um, just the thrill for, for why I fell in love with science. Um, and I get to rediscover that all over again myself. And just to come down and, and almost be a postdoc again, to like sit in on seminars and hear what other people are doing. And, and I started a new collaboration before lunch my first day here. Mm -hmm. So I mean, just having those sort of informal interactions with the new group of scientists is really energizing and really recharging. And, um, and it's been awesome. I'm hoping I can do this you know, every summer, <laughs> so if possible. Um, it's been really fantastic. You have a critical mass of people that you would never have access to anywhere else. And also, everyone is very, very open here. I mean, it's a very open sharing community in terms of the ideas and the people. You can go to anybody's lab and ask them questions. You see seminars on things you wouldn't normally go to, but they're right here. Um, and so it, you get many more ideas. So what I would say about coming here that's so amazing, just I can illustrate with a story. I got off the bus uh, three days ago. And be between the time I got off the bus and I got to my house, I ran into three people and already had two meetings planned, including a dinner meeting and met somebody I hadn't met before and we talked in really amazing science. So there's just so many people here that are off scale. I really recharge my battery scientifically. Um, chance encounters with someone on the sidewalk have um, completely changed sometimes the course of my experiments and that sort of only happens at MBL where we get this critical mass of great people wandering around excited to talk about what problems they're interested in um, and so it's a, an addiction but I think it's a healthy addiction. The MBL is uh, some sort of magical magnet that draws the best uh, and some of the best and most interesting scientists from around the world. Um, and it's, uh, so in some sense it's a crossroads, but it's really a destination. It's a place where lots of people come together from different places and f just for the summer months assemble labs and interact as colleagues. I like coming here because it's a way to kind of just get away from the everyday things that are pulling on you and try new things. And there are people here to try new things with, and there's equipment here to try new things with, so it's a way to explore wild ideas. Kind of spend a couple of weeks and see if you can get them to work. And you would never make the time to do that in your everyday life at your everyday institution. Another thing is that this is a place to play. And what I mean by that is that science really is about curiosity and investigating things because you find them interesting. And our lives at home are often colored by completely different considerations. So every summer we come here and we try stuff. It's an invigorating, exciting place. It's got all kinds of great people, great equipment. Um, I'm reminded of a quote from Sherlock Holmes where he said that uh, when you rule out the impossible, whatever remains, no matter how improbable, must be the truth. And so you come to MBL to try the impossible. And it's a short time, sometimes that you, the impossible works. And that's what's cool about this place is that it, it, you can try it. And you can go away and carry on with other things or you get new ideas. And so it's, just, it's just the place to try and have fun. But here, creative students, hardworking, uh, loads of equipment, and lots of reagents mean that you can try lots of things, iterate, and eventually find a solution to the problem. There's something really wonderful about an atmosphere where you try to do things just because you're curious about them. Just because you've been wanting to try something out, you're not worried about whether or not it'll quote unquote work or won't work necessarily, you just want to see what will happen. You can, you can easily get out of your comfort zone and, and you know you can think of the craziest experiment and if, if more or less you can put it together people will help you do it. Uh, so I, I think that really gave me a lot of confidence and it inspired in me a little bit of the of, the, of a spirit, like, let, let's just go for it. You know, it's like, when, when you have an idea, okay, so how can I get it to work? Let's just give it a try. 
I don't know of anywhere more magical. And so even though it's certainly true that people like me that are a little bit older should, should come here, you know, I, I would say that the bottom line is that this is a rite of passage you know, for students. Here's a test. If you see anyone who has taken a course uh, at the MBL or done summer research here, taken the physiology course, say, uh, just mention the word MBL to them or the word Woods Hole and see if they don't get kind of a misty, far away look in their eyes and start talking about the magic of the place. They'll start to sound a little bit like maybe a, some sort of religious fanatic talking about a cult maybe. Uh, if you haven't been here, that might be what they, they sound like. But if you have been here, it will sound more like an expatriate talking about their homeland, uh, you know, a place where they feel some deep connection to, to, the, to what they're doing.